Well, the fire season in Australia is one of the most dramatic in decades. Neighbouring South Australia is experiencing, quote, catastrophic conditions and major fires are burning in New South Wales, while Sydney is shrouded in smoke. Prime Minister Scott Morrison has agreed to compensate volunteer firefighters, paying up to $4,000. Well, let's get more on this now from Thomas Newsom. He's a lecturer at the University of Sydney School of Life and Environmental Sciences and joins us by Skype uh, from Bundanoon in Australia. Good to have you with us uh, on the programme. Now, Australia is no stranger to wildfires. This is the uh, bushfire season. So what would you say is different this time round? Well, obviously, Australia is well known for having... Uh, prolonged droughts and, and big fire seasons. But what we're witnessing over the last few, man few months is really unprecedented. Um, in a lot of people's living memories, they cannot and have not witnessed the amount of area that has been burnt so far, uh, 5 million hectares across Australia, 3.4 million hectares in New South Wales alone. And these fires are, are so severe um, that they're causing cat catastrophic uh, damage to ecosystems and the fires are very quickly encroaching on uh, urban areas and rural areas where people are either living their livelihoods through agriculture or where they, where they actually live. Now, now you mentioned uh, you, you think this is unprecedented, but the, the reaction from the Australian government seems to suggest otherwise, does it not? Well, I think the, the reaction uh, was very slow and I think there should have been a swift, a much swifter uh, response to both acknowledge that these conditions and the fires that people are witnessing are unprecedented. There should have been a swifter response acknowledging that the fires and the conditions that we're seeing and witnessing are linked to climate change because the, some of the predictions, obviously, from climate change include prolonged droughts, and extreme heat um, and heat waves um, that we're seeing across the country. And th those two things are going to basically fuel and create perfect conditions for uh, these catastrophic fires that we're seeing. Now, you, you mentioned uh, climate change. It's interesting to find out what role you think climate change is playing in this. And does uh, the government, do the authorities accept that, the, uh, that climate change is playing a role here? And if they do, well, what can be done about it? Sure. I, I think there has been a, a slight shift in the way uh, some politicians are, are talking. And certainly there has now been acknowledgement that the, um, the conditions that we're seeing are indirectly uh, linked to, to climate change. And look, to, to really um, tackle this issue, there needs to be a huge uh, local response but also a global response to uh, reducing greenhouse gas emissions and shifting away from fossil fuels and up the uptake of, of, renew of renewables. Um, but really, when we're talking about fires um, specifically, I think there needs to be a massive rethink about how we're going to manage fires. Um, certainly, these conditions um, have been so severe that bushland is burning so much quicker and hotter um, than people really ever anticipated. And that in itself is going to create I think the need for a shift in the way that we that we manage fires and probably massive reinvestment um, back into our land management and, and national parks um, organisations um, to deal with this threat, which really we're only at the beginning of the fire season and we've already seen 5 million hectares burnt and it's these conditions and these fires are not going to slow down and they're not going to stop until we get um, really good rainfalls, and the predictions aren't good for that rainfall coming soon. OK, Thomas Newsom there joining us live from Australia. Thank you very much indeed for your thoughts. Thank you.